It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Overtone Brewing Company and it's a can of their Pale El Dorado coming in at 6% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. And we're gonna be taking a look at some McKennedy American Way Super Size Flips. 450 grams. They're a hybrid of like a maize snack infused with peanuts. Massive bag of crisps. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. We got a three finger white head, good levels of carbonation, nice hazy looking beer. Looks lovely. It's really warm outside. It's about, I don't know, 25 degrees, really humid. Looks really interesting and refreshing for, for the current weather. Let's get the aroma on this amber, hazy colored beer. Overton Brewing Company are making some absolutely outstanding beers at the moment. And this being the same, just the aroma alone is, it's, it's jammy, it's tart like. It's prickly, it's nettly, there's some tropical fruits in there. And there's a little aroma of, a, a certain amount of dryness coming through as well in the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, really refreshing brew. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. The flavours are really jammy, really tart like. Carbonation, I've mentioned it a couple of times now. If you hold the beer in your mouth, the carbonation kind of just, just pushes the beer around and just releases more of that flavour. I'm loving that jammy, tart-like flavour coming through on the beer. It's a bit like a, a 6% ABV. It's a bit like a modern, a very modern, traditional British IPA. Does that make any sense to you? Like, a lot of the old British IPAs, they were jammy, they were tart-like. But the ABVs, in the end, they went down, especially from the regional brewers, the ABVs went down to 3.5% for for what was an IPA at 6%. During the war, um, they had to ration the, the malt, so they took some of the malts out of the beard. Of course, the ABV slowly went down. And after the war, they never recovered. They always carried on brewing these beers at about 3.5%, 4%, if you were lucky, ABV. And that's what we were faced with until the early 2000s, really before it really kicked in. Uh, the IPAs of old, these lovely kind of 6% bold flavoured jammy tart like grapefruity pineapple type beers. That's terrific, really terrific. Uh, the hops are Columbus and El Dorado. The malts are extra pale, caramel malt and white wheat. The yeast is Vermont Ale yeast. There we go. Let's pair it with some of these crisps. You probably gathered this by now, but I like little. I like, I'm a massive fan of little. There we are, there's a look at the crisps. You get a change every Thursday when you pop into your local Littles. They might have an American week like we have here, where there's lots of American stuff. You might get French week, you might get Italian week, you might get Polish week. A lot of Mexican week, we get Mexican pizzas. Oh, they just, the variety keeps on changing. It, it, it changes on a weekly basis. And you just find that when you're going from one week to the next, you don't quite know what you're gonna get. And it's quite, I mean, Shopping experiences aren't that exciting, but it's a little bit more exciting than going to some of the British ones where it's the same week in, week out, nothing changes. Anyway, 
There's a look at these nice looking peanut maize wheat crisps. They, they smell so strange. I've had these before in in Italy at my mother-in-law's house. And it's a weird, it's like you've replaced the cheese puffs, the, the, the flavor of the cheese puff with like an oily peanut oil. Mm. Really crispy, really crunchy, buttery, oily kind of peanut butter flavor. Mm. They're fabulous, really good. Mm. Goes so well with the beer. They're really more more crunchy than a regular maize snack to begin with. But then when you kind of start chewing into when you start getting into the meat of these these crisps, they release like it's almost like you you've dipped the crisps in peanut butter and you're like kind of, you know you're trying to chew through it. Mmm. Top banana. I paid. I think I paid two pounds. Twenty nineteen. Two pounds in my local little for a massive bag of crisps. You can have four hundred and fifty grams. You're lucky these days if you can get a bag of one hundred and fifty grams of crisps when it's on offer for a pound. Very lucky. To be able to buy 450 grams of really tasty, satisfying crisps, crisps to go with your beer for two pounds is, is, is remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Cheers to Little. This beer is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just great mouthfeel, great flavours, nice finish, a little bit of sweetness to begin with, small amounts of bitterness on the back end, not a great deal of bitterness on the back end, but just a wonderful, wonderful example of a, of a Glasgow, they're from Glasgow in Scotland, craft beer. Okay, this soft and creamy pale ale is bold with tropical fruits, notes of pear, watermelon, stone fruits and candy floss are followed by a fruity, slightly resinous finish. So when I was talking about the jammy tart like flavors earlier, because everybody's tastes are different and everybody describes beers in their own particular way. It's what the brewer described here, it's what he tasted. I give more a jammy tartness. You know, at the end of the day, we all taste different things and I suppose when you say pear, watermelon and stone fruits with a candy floss, you can probably kind of get that kind of sweet jam like, I wasn't too far away. Let's rate it. Fabulous beer, really good example of a beer this. I have really, really high hopes for this brewery. Overtone Brewing Company. Um, whenever I, I'm, I'm starting to sound like an old scratch record here, but whenever they send me a beer, the beer seems to be getting better and better and better. The standard is just going higher and higher and higher. And I had a chat with a brewer just two days ago on Facebook, and I said to him, I'm really glad to be at the beginning of your journey because I firmly believe this brewery is going places. I like the beer enough to give it a nine out of 10. I like the crisps enough to give them an eight out of ten. I, I they, they, a little bit oily. They're very nice, a, bit, a little bit oily. I wonder how many I would eat before I go. Phew, but you know, I've had enough of them type of thing. And then you put them away and get them out the next night when you get the beers out the next night. Happy days. Uh, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.